YouTube. Welcome back to another video. We got a pretty exciting video that I've been, ooh. I've been waiting a while to do this video. I put up a poll on my channel and my Instagram right here and right here. It was about unwrapping the Supra. We're going to dive into it in a second. Before I go any further though, I got to go get some Red Bulls or some caffeine because I'm still waking up. Today was the solar eclipse day. Today's April 8th. <clears throat> and I'd be lying if I said I've been productive so far today. I've done absolutely nothing. And just been procrastinating and watching streams. This is the rig that we're whipping today. 21 Laramie. 22 by 12 forces. Okay, we're back in the garage. By the time of this video, you're probably wondering why I'm taking the wrap off the Supra. And there's only like two or three reasons. It's super basic. And the way a lot of wraps and sponsors work for big events when they're debuting, you know, colors and stuff, they want to use new colors that they're literally releasing and debuting. And so they'll send you like a palette or a photo of like 10, 12 different colors that you can choose from. You don't necessarily get to pick like a custom color or anything like that. They have to showcase the new colors they got coming out. This was one of them and it was the closest color I could get to the color I really want the car to be. Thank you so much to Nozitech for letting me represent the company for SEMA and run one of their unreleased colors. Forever grateful for that, but it's not necessarily my kind of dream. I'm gonna say, you know, we have something possibly in the works right now working on a custom color, so the car will get rewrapped. But it kind of leads me to the next point that underneath this wrap, if you've been, been here the whole time since I first got the car and through the whole process of building it, you'll know underneath this wrap, it's all paint matched, the white body and everything. It's fully paint matched black. When I got the car done and was finally on the ground, I think I only enjoyed it for like one or two weeks. Immediately it got wrapped and then sent off to Vegas for SEMA, which was amazing. Not taking away from that, it was the funnest thing ever and I can't wait to go again. But the green was a sponsorship thing and I really want to show off the black because the shop that did do the paint on it did an amazing job. It's professionally done. And that's my second reason, I want to show off the paint. And the third reason is we have Wii Fest coming up and I kind of wanted to switch it up. Those are my three reasons. I'm not going to dive too much more into it. I'm just going to take the wrap off. Okay, so we've made some really good progress so far. We actually got the whole car unwrapped, so it's all back to black. So I didn't record actually pulling the wrap off because it was actually really frustrating and I got really, like, it got to the point, like, when I was, like, pulling it, it like, destroyed my hands. And so I already wiped all these down. Like, they're clean. They got new seals on a lot of them. They're all touched up. But with the car, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but it's, like, really dirty. And... Just before I put the wide body back on, there's a couple pieces that I still got pulled. Like I pull this piece off and pull this piece. Uh, the side skirts are still on it. I didn't take those off. I just loosened them up and just tilted them out. But I'm gonna clean the car because I don't know the next time I'm gonna have the wide body off. So now's the perfect time. But you guys, it is looking so good in black. I'm gonna wrap up the video with just pulling off the rest of my panels on the car. There's one right there. One right there. And then we pretty much just have the side skirts on both sides. And then once I do that, next video, we're gonna pull the car outside. We're gonna give it a quick wash because I want the whole car to be clean before we put everything back together. It's been nice to kind of clean under the wide body. There's like a ton of rocks and stuff. 
like underneath. So I'm just going to set you guys down. You guys can watch me just take off the rest of the pedals on the car before I call it a day and uh, enjoy. I'm probably just going to put the outro after this, the next few clips and not even do much more. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like want to see anything or any questions about getting wrap off or whatever, just let me know down below. Uh, we're really creeping up on 700 subscribers. I think we're at like 670. Let's see real quick because I am actually curious. I haven't checked all day. 674. So 26 more people. We're at the big 700. So everyone who's watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy these last little clips of me pulling off parts of the car. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace. all your hardware and stuff that you keep it all in the same place because you don't want to lose it because if you're anything like me you did not order enough of it and if you lose some you got to order some more and that takes like a week to ship we got everything off the car every single panel i touched up the two that are the couple that are on there i already touched them up they're perfect but boom baby these were terrible to get off Couple little things are wrapped still here and there that I gotta get off, but majority of it's all done. Car's all back to, I guess you could say stock body, but I'll see you guys all in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed, peace.